On the 16th of June 1941, the crew of U-96 were fully restocked and ready to head out of port on our next patrol. Orders from the BDU have sent us back out to the Black Pit, sector BE1 to BE4. We are to patrol a 2000 km area around BE1 to BE4 in the North Atlantic. Weather in the area is expected to be foggy. However, intelligence suggests there may be a very large number of merchant vessels sailing through this area. Hi everyone, we're just sailing out not too far out off the French coast and apparently they've spotted an enemy aircraft. Oh, they have that. I put the gunner on. <laughs> I couldn't see him. Yeah, okay. Can't move the binoculars quick enough to um, keep an eye on him. But we've gone to um, flank speed. I can hear the heat from that gun. Watch your head, sunshine. Oh, he's just circling us at the moment. Just taking possession of the gun so I don't have my head blown off. There's no point in wasting ammunition. Hard starboard. Oh god, this is going to hurt. Oh, leak on board, sailors in critical state. We've got him hit. Turned the wrong way. He's going down. Sailors have been stabilised and moved out of this. Got the... Uh, Engineer working on patching the leak in the port side here. Got a bit of water coming in. Thim has been injured. No. Repair complete. Nice. Oh no, hang on. One repair is complete. Now he's. Uh, oh, that hole. Yeah, get that um, welded up quick as we can. More and more water's coming in. Don't interfere because I'll just slow him down. Oh, look at that. Water's coming up as he's repairing the, uh, the leak in the hole there. Come on. It's up to our knees now. That's why they got those injured crew members out of here. I'll go and close the bulkhead so it doesn't come over the over the step. Got my torch. Ah, oh, good repair. Oh, that was a fantastic repair. And he's straight on to um, warming up the torpedoes. Brilliant. Right, good stuff. Um, let's get the uh, the pump on and uh, fingers crossed. The other two sailors will be okay. We'll get them some treatment. They're over here. We're going to check on them in a second. Let's give them some first aid. Not sure what first aid that is, but it's stabilised the crew, which is the important thing. Good stuff. Right. With the excitement over, we're going to head back on course. Start making our way back towards our patrol zone. In our patrol zone, we've just received a message from the BDU. So, um... Hans Jürgen is currently decoding that now. No doubt there's a ship with some sensitive equipment that they want us to sink down. Or take down and sink, should I say. Here we go. Almost there.
We have information that critical technology has been loaded onto a freighter, Empire Anvil. It must be sunk at all costs. Its predicted location is 4766 North, 2378 West. Confirmed. Right, let's go back on the uh, the hunt for these um, specific ships that they point out. No problems at all. It gives us something to aim for. We'll start plotting the course and we'll uh, head right there now. Okay, Let's bring the periscope up, see what we can see. Chance a little bit more height. Okay, what we got over there? Merchant ship. Well, I'm looking, it's a bit of fog rolling in. But if we have a look at the hydrophone on the map, or the map of the hydrophone, you can see there's a warship there. And we've got a couple of ships coming in there. We've got a convoy, HX convoy. Um, 8 to 19 ships. Ooh. That's quite juicy, right. So, I'm scanning the horizon as best I can. That looks like the warship then, is it? It's a destroyer of some kind. Beyond that, we can't tell. It's a bit foggy. Again, we've been plagued by the fog. Got ships coming in there. Right, we've got the torpedoes being warmed up. Um, obviously, let's get the periscope down a bit so we're not giving our position away. We'll keep an eye on this destroyer. But we don't want to engage it. Uh, we'll let it sail on by and um, we'll look to hit the other shipping. Unless, of course, it's the only escort, and then we will try and sink it, and then we can have a little bit more um, fun with the rest of the convoy. But I doubt it is. Okay, there's that destroyer going past us. Um, don't need to worry about him, hopefully, for the moment. Um, now. We've got a large ship there. It's not an Empire ship, so it's unlikely to be, even though it's got a green dot on it, it's unlikely to be that one because it's. <laughs> it was called Emperor Anvil, so I don't think it's that one. There's going to be. That's an Empire ship. Could be that one. What else we got? Ship in the mist there. Another one there. Looks like an NA1 freighter. Maybe something over there. Unknown ship behind us. Well, it's not quite behind us. Can't quite see that. Oh. She's pretty close. Let's go coming down. Right, let's have a look on the map. What we got on the hydrophone? So, this is um, Samkri. Okay, so we can see the name on that ship. This is the Nipornin Park. Sorry about the pronunciation. Now, these ones, I think, are going to be... One of these five is probably going to be the prime target. However... These two ships here do look quite good. Let me just make sure warming torpedoes up is happening. Oh, it's that one, isn't it? That one's got USA flags. But that is an Empire ship. So if we lock onto that, this will just be a bit of practice. Uh, we'll be able to work out the speed and everything. Um, there we go. It's an Empire Tower. Let's get the speed. Go. Let's 
similar to an Empire Tower. 3,186 tons, roughly. Or in that ballpark, anyway. Six knots. Angle about is 40. Oh, I can't just type in there. I thought I could. 40. Um, distance. Three thousand two hundred. Might be a bit more than that, actually. Right, tube one. Uh, let's make sure we've got six knots, oh, got the range on there. Uh, there you go, it's tracking there. Got plenty of time. Of 12 Uhr. Right, so we look in front of us, there should be a larger, yeah, here we go. Let's get this identified. This is this is too good a, a, a target not to hit, isn't it? Uh, three masts in the front. C3 freighter. Uh, length is 143. Right. Velocity. Uh, should we go for six? Angle bow. Sixty nine and fourteen hundred meters. Angle about is sixty nine giggity. There you go. And what is it? We'll do it from here, but it's about fourteen, fifteen hundred meters. Fifteen hundred meters, that'll do. Sixty nine. Range 1500 meters, we'll do that as 100 and well, 30, that'll do. Um, tube 1 and 2 set. I'll reduce that actually. Fire. Tube 1 away. Tube 2 away. Tube 3 maintenance didn't actually warm it up, which is slightly annoying. He's reloading. Oh, that's why. Okay, tube 3. We'll target this back. Stand by to fire 3. Fire. Minimal damage, shall they say, but um, I think she's going down. I think she, yeah, she's abandoned ship already. Good. Um, right, where's the the other ship we fired at? There she is. She's probably slowing down and doing all sorts of things now. So our torpedo, oh, it's still looking good. Well, at four life lock rafts off that one. I can hear the engine note of the uh, the other merchant ship going behind us. Torpedo Fazaga. It was a dud, was it? Let's recalculate speed. Definitely slow down. I know firing them cold does have the uh, increased risk of duds and stuff like that, but uh, we don't have much choice really. We haven't got one prepared, and they'll be 
out of our range soon. And the destroyers will be coming. Five knots, there we go. Right, double check his angle about. Good. Top four. Ah. Right. Of all the things that's going on, that destroyer hasn't come round. Oh, there's a destroyer back. Oh, here we go. Although they're not doing anything terribly exciting. So what I might do... How's that? That's been abandoned, but... There's a few fires going on it, but it's not going anywhere. So we can always look to finish that one off, which is good. Um, what are these other ships doing? Got an NA-1 coming there. What's that? be in any one as well, I've got to say. Another Empire ship. Maybe we'll lock onto this one. Maybe that's the Empire ship we need. Oh no, Empire Soldier. We've identified that one. Oh, this one's right behind us. Nice. Velocity. Going past the best angle, of course. You can see the destroyer in the distance. Five knots. Okay, tube five, it's cold, but we'll just fire it regardless. Fire. Tube five away, right. So yeah, that that one's sinking. And I think this one's going to dodge the, the, uh, the torpedo heading their way. Oh yes, it has. It's gone behind him, look. Oh, that's frustrating. However, we fired a torpedo at this one. Good hit. Feindliches Schiff wurde getroffen. Feuer an deck. Fire on deck as well. Ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Serious damage. Good stuff. Right. As she starts to burn, we'll get the tonnage anyway, if nothing else. Uh, I think we've got another. NA-1 coming in. The uh, little <laughs> green dot is scaring me. Um, there it is. Right. Recognize Mary Leon. NA-1. Velocity. We'll do this just in case they... Oh, let's do that again. 173 knots. Unlikely. Need to check on what these uh, destroyers are doing because it's all gone quiet from them. I've got a funny feeling that ship we fired two torpedoes at and it's dodged both of them. Or it got hit by a dud and the second one it's dodged. Six knots, apparently. Okay. Okay, course set in. Um, well, 79 degree angle about, more like. Um, okay. We're loading. We're not warming up, so we're just going to fire as we are. Cold torpedoes. They are what they are. Tube one fire. Just want to get as many torpedoes in the water as possible. We've got a chance of um, getting a second one going if this one's a dud. Right, 
We've only got 900 meters to go, so it should hit it pretty quick. I thought it hit by now. I didn't put the timer on it. Okay. <laughs> that must have been the um, the ship behind us, which was burning. I should imagine. Oh, we just snagged her on the rear. Yeah, rear damage to one of these. They're gone. Oh wow! Look at that. whoa! Do you see the hole in the, the rear of that, the stern of that ship? That is nuts. She's gone. Okay. Who have we got out there? Okay then. So, course set 65. Uh, distance 2,500 meters. Got tube 2. Fire. Please hit good. Right, let's have a quick status. That one's still stuck. Uh, take the one behind us is smoke rising. She's sunk. Excellent. Uh, oh, we've got another one coming in behind. Maybe have a pop up there. The NA1 uh, seems to have sunk, and we're currently targeting this one. Okay. Are we going to get lucky? Yes. Good hit. Good hit. That was a great shot. Torpedo Fire hit. On deck. Fire on deck. Serious on damage. That's what I want to hear. Meanwhile, what's that? That's the NA1 sinking, I think. The Mary Leon. Got another one coming. Oh, there's a warship finally getting on the scene. The light's changing. Oh, we've got another NA-1 coming up behind, or come to the side, shall I say. Oh, we got this one behind. Target this one. I, I say, we, we just try and, before these destroyers get to us, let's just try and put as many torpedoes in the water as possible. No, it's not that one. Empire Explorer. Velocity. So I know now that we've hit the, sh the ship we needed to hit, um, and that fire, she she could be damaged. She's not exactly going to stay with the convoy, is she? So I'm kind of happy just to fire a couple more torpedoes at other ships. Get as much damage as we can. Try and hide down. Get away from any warship incursions or warship um, action. And uh, and then pop up, sink that big ship, the the deck gun, and uh, claim the credit and rewards. Happy days. Six knots, back up to six knots, right. Okay. There we go. 114 degrees. Whoa! The anvil's sunk, that's good. And distance is fifteen hundred meters. Right, tube five has been reloaded, but it's not being warmed up. That's okay. Fire. Right. Any more for any more? There's loads of ships here. This is this is nuts. This is like a another one coming in behind. Where's that destroyer? Over there. Uh, so that's sunk. You can see. Let's plot some jetsam and some life rafts. And then we've got. What the hell is that? They recognise that. Empire soldier. No. Um. Jade Camperman. What ship is that? Is it just an odd angle? Is it an Empire Bell? I think it is, isn't it? It's just a it's just an odd angle. Uh six knots. Right, switching back to frontward torpedoes, it's uh forty three. Forty three, there we go. Um speed six knots, fifteen hundred meters, which is already set, so that's okay. Let's get that sorted. 43 as well. I'll probably just maybe stick with just that in future because that's, that's now get to a nice point where it's nice and accurate and we don't have to worry about uh, anything else. Good. 
Right, tube three. Fire. Okay, looking good. I think that one's going down. Well, maybe. One behind. Ooh, we've got a, an A1 sneaking behind. Oh, yeah, she's gone. Have we got... No, we don't have tube 5 done. Ah, oh, you're going to get past us then. That's okay. <laughs> that was making emergency evasive actions. And the one in front is sinking as well. Happy days. Right. And there's the destroyer. Right. Scope down. We've had enough fun for one day. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, you can see the light is fading. It's coming up to night time. We've got uh, armor piercing loaded, so let's get some shots into the hull and see if we can get some uh, bigger holes to let the air out to get this ship down. Well, that might have just splashed in and not made it to the hull. Still got a few small fires burning in the rear. I didn't quite make it, I don't think. It's quite choppy. I'm not sure that made it either, but she's definitely even see you can't see the um the holes we put into the hole only a few moments ago. She's gone. No cry of jubilation yet. Right, so I suppose it's time for a little bit of humanitarian um, support now. Look, we've got some live rafts all around us. Hello, boys. Right, let's see what we can do. Uh, let's take some of these on board. Let's take the captain. Let's take, uh, yeah, let's take that entire boat on board. Um, we'll be able to take some of these guys. That's all we can. And then we'll give them supplies. The rest of them, supplies. I've seen two people in that boat. Maybe we should have rescued them. Um, ooh. Damn, can I kick people out? No, I don't think I can. That's a shame. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll give them supplies as well. And we'll give these guys supplies as well. Good.
And as we head back into port, we get the first news from the 1st of July. Invasion of the Soviet Union. It's happening, apparently. Meanwhile, in our debrief, we were confirmed that the Nipawin Park was sunk. Our intel suggests that the ship had a tonnage of 7,181 tons and was transporting medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool, registered ship of Canada. The Mary Leon sunk. This ship was a US ship carrying raw resources from Halifax to Liverpool. Its gross ton registered tonnage was 2,249 tons. The Empire Anvil was sunk. This was the one with the important information or technology aboard. Our sources inform us that this ship was headed from Halifax to Liverpool with utilities in the cargo holds. The ship's registered tonnage was 2,186 tons. It was a registered ship of Great Britain. And the Empire Soldier was also sunk. Uh, headed from Liverpool to Halifax with raw resources in the cargo holds. Tonnage was 4,398 tons. It was a registered ship of Great Britain. And the um, Campman was sunk. That the Commander J. Campman sunk. Uh, our sources inform us that the ship was headed from Halifax to Liverpool with food in the cargo holds. The ship's tonnage was 5,871 tons. It was a registered ship of Canada. And the Sam Cree um, is a US ship with medical supplies from Halifax to Liverpool. Uh, 7,784 tons. So, confirmation of our mission debriefing. We received 8,000 um, Reichsmarks. 33% um, reputation upgrade. Uh, tonnage sunk 30,669 tons. Not bad for 14 days and 20 hours at sea. Distance travelled 4,951 kilometres. So, remember back, we shot down that Bristol Beaufort right at the beginning. Uh, and they got a bit of us as well, but thankfully we were able to repair those um, those holes and the damage and to the crew as well. And then we got the Liberty Freighter for 7,100 um, NA-1, Empire Bell, Empire Tower, Empire Explorer, and a C-3 freighter. We've already gone through the tonnages, obviously a totalling of 30,669. And uh, all mission objectives completed. Um, we found the Empire Anvil, which was the secondary objective. We sunk it. We did the 2,000 patrol um, in the marked area. And uh, we sunk 4,000 tons of enemy shipping. Quite considerably more, in fact. So... All in all, a fantastic patrol for U-96. Um, still got some research being underway at the moment, which is good. I think we do have an upgrade which we can put to the boat next time. However, um, before we do any more missions, campaign missions that is, I think we're going to wait for a few more upgrades like the snorkel, etc. Uh, so it gives us a little bit more of an advantage. Ah, rather annoyingly, look, it didn't add it all to the total. 12,987 tons. So we attacked here, but our our patrol zone was, was here, wasn't it? Or here, or here, somewhere here. Which I thought that would have been added to the actual campaign, but it, it doesn't appear to be the case. So um, that's slightly annoying. It didn't get added to, to the Black Pit campaign. Ah, well. We'll, um, we'll try and get a little bit more added to that next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.